Hi, this is Daniel Lodia with Point About. Hope you're doing well. I want to show you a little bit about our tool and how it works. So I'm standing in uh, Washington, D.C., and I'm on, uh, on Eastern Market on Capitol Hill. It's uh, a part of Washington, D.C. And uh, let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click the Point About icon here. And that icon is going to calculate my location and then load a web page. But it's a special web page. It's a Point About site that's location aware. What I like to say is that this icon has given the website vision. It's given it eyesight. For the first time, the eyes are opened on this site. It knows where it is and it knows where I am, more importantly. So if you think about it, the entire web has been blind until Point About came along. And we're giving websites their vision. That's a nice way to describe it. Uh, so that we, we have dozens of applications with Point About, but the one that I'm going to uh, load up here is the uh, DC Metro. I've only put a couple on this demo. So let's click on the Metro application. Point about is now passing me off to the Metro site, but in a special way, it's actually telling uh, the Metro uh, site where I am. So the Metro site can return a, a specific website for me, the user who's standing here on Eastern Market. And we can see that the Eastern Market Metro is right here. Let's click on that. And now it's going to return to us what trains are arriving. So we have in the a new Carrollton direction. We have an orange train that's boarding right now. Uh, there is a, a, a six-car train that's boarding in 11 minutes. There's a Largo Town Center train that's boarding in 12 minutes. In the other direction, there's a Fran Franconia six-car train that's blue, boarding in three minutes. So you, you kind of get the idea. Let me go ahead and go back here. So the nice thing is that Point About is telling the Metro site which train station is closest and also uh, when the trains are coming, so you don't have to wait for the metro any longer. All right, let's go back again, and we'll go back to the point about application. I'm um, also, uh, let's say that I want to search for houses that are for sale around where I am. Uh, let's see if we can do that. So I'm getting back to the main list here, and there's a, a service called the Best Home Search Ever. Let's click on that. So point about is now telling the Best Home Search Ever uh, where I'm located and the best homes which ever can return to me a version of its website that's customized to my location and that's going to show me the houses that are for sale around wherever I am uh, so let's take a look as this loads and by the way we're on a 3G Apple network right now and so here are the houses that are for sale next to me right now here's a house that is hold on Oh, you know what? It's going to actually return a list. So the closest house is actually 0 0.06 miles away. It's at 742 13th Street. It's $495,000. Let's click on that one. And I can see that this house is for sale around me. I can see details on the property. Investors, this shell is awaiting your ideas. Owner can convey plans and permits. I also have pictures of the property. So this house is right around the corner. We'll go visit it in a second. Uh, let's go see what else we've got. There's another one that's for sale. Here's another one that's for sale. We'll take a look at some of the photos of this one. And we can see this one has multiple photos that it's giving us, so we can actually see the inside of the property. I can also customize my search results. So let's say that I don't want to uh, have certain types of properties. I just click Filter Results. And it's going to give me a filter where I can specify certain things, like the price, uh, if I want to get just for sale or for sale and for rent, that sort of thing. So we'll say that we want a maximum price of 1.5 million and a minimum price of 800,000. And we only want to look at properties, in fact, that are just for sale. Click on that and then we'll click search. And now it's going to customize my results based on my filter and we'll see what pops up. Okay, it's going to return a list of homes that match. And so here we have the first one, which is uh, 0.35 miles away. It's a third of a mile away. And let's go take a look at it. Okay, so let's do a little house hunting. I'm in the car now. And let's say that I want to go see this property first. It is a... Uh, Four bed, four bath uh, property, a row house, 1.19 million, it's half a mile away. 
and I can see some details. Bright and gracious, four bedroom, four bath, with two car garage at Eastern Market's doorstep. Sounds good to me. Here's a photo of it. And uh, so let's take a look at the location and let's see exactly where this property is located. And I know that the best home search ever, by the way, is also going to put an open house checkbox on the results filter so that you can actually just look up properties that have open houses going on. So that's going to be pretty exciting. You could very easily allow buyers to just go do house hunting on their own that way if the realtor is willing to do that. All right, so I can see that this property is uh, just up Pennsylvania Avenue, but let's say that I want some directions. So let me click on directions, and it's going to say head northeast on Potomac, turn left at 14th, right at Pennsylvania, right at 8th Street, and then turn right. So I've got my directions, and I'll be back online when we're in front of the house. All right, so I'm standing here in front of uh, 315 um, 9th Street in Capitol Hill. You can see it's a very nice street. And I can also uh, go on to the best home search ever to find uh, more photos. All right, so I just saw a property that I'm uh, really interested in. And I want to make sure that I can actually afford to buy this property. So I need to find an ATM to check my bank balance. Well, luckily, Pornabout has configured a Bank of America closest ATM application. So uh, I'm going to launch Pornabout by clicking on the icon. Pornabout, in turn, is going to go to a hosted Pornabout page. And that page has all sorts of applications, and one of them is the closest Bank of America ATM. I'm going to click on that. And now we're loading the Bank of America page. One of the beauties of uh, the way Pointabout works is you can take any website and configure it to be location aware. So whereas before you would have had to have gone to the Bank of America website, clicked on ATMs, typed in your zip code, Pointabout does all that for you and it puts in the zip code of whatever location you're currently located in. So here are the closest Bank of America ATMs. I can see that there's one 0.7 miles away on Capitol Hill. So I'm going to go on over there and uh, check my bank balance and make sure that I can buy this house. All right, good news. I do in fact have enough money to put an offer on this property that I really like. So I need to tell my realtor and maybe a significant other about the property. So in order to do that, let's say that I took a couple pictures that I want to um, to upload, but I have to go to a Wi-Fi hotspot location to do that. Well, point about has uh, configured a closest Wi-Fi hotspot application which is right down here so let me click on that and let's find the closest Wi-Fi hotspot right now we're loading up a tool called Jwire which finds and look what do you know Finn's Mac cool Irish pub is on 7th on 8th Street, uh, very close by. Why don't I go over there and load some pictures up of the property that I like, and see if I can uh, see if I can put an offer on it. Okay, I'm really excited. I found a house that I liked. I was able to check my bank balance to make sure that I had enough funds to purchase it, and I would went to a Wi-Fi hotspot to upload some photos to my realtor and my significant other to make an offer, but I don't really know this city very well, and I'd be curious to know what there is to do in the city, so let me turn to my trusted point about application, as I always do, and see if there's um, some kind of um, guide that can help me. Well, point about has configured Yelp, which uh, started off as just restaurant reviews, but has expanded into all sorts of reviews. So point about is going to tell Yelp where I'm located, which is in uh, zip code 2003. You can see right there. Oh, didn't mean to hit that. Okay, so United States Holocaust Memorial Museum has 54 reviews. It's 2.16 miles away. National Gallery of Art has 87 reviews. It's 1.55 miles away. The Lincoln Memorial, 57 reviews, 3.09 miles away. National Portrait Gallery, Obelisk, that's a restaurant, 35 reviews, four stars, or four dollar signs, it's 3.37 miles away. So I can use services like Yelp or Lonely Planet or a number of, of others that Point About has configured to tell me about the city that I'm in. I could find upcoming events that are going on tonight around me and all sorts of neat information like that. Hope you've really enjoyed this tour of Point About and that you get a chance to start using it soon. This is Daniel Odio signing off. I'm going to go get some food at Obelisk.